really here from focused events and I'm really really lucky and I think I mentioned that a few times in this video uh, to tell you that I've managed to bring down here to Spain with us the new BMW S1000XR um, I've been out riding it on the roads I absolutely love it I'm really really impressed the differences that I've found over the previous model I'm not particularly tall I'm 5 foot 11 but for sure I found the previous bike a little bit cramped I've sat on this bike as you can see it's got a really nice contoured seat and it's been comfortable immediately and it didn't feel cramped in any way the other thing that um, I noticed um, was there was in the previous bike <coughs> there was definitely a little bit vibey vibrations coming through the bars uh, feeling a little bit tingly but not not this bike no absolutely not and uh, this bike is the carbon edition which means that you get a really nice carbon hugger, you get this really nice side piece of fairing with XR on it, which is carbon. And back here, if we look at it back here, we've also got a hugger. And they've got the nice, well, it's got this sort of M on it. I don't think it's M Sport. This bike's definitely not M Sport, but that's what it's got on it. I actually like this flat gray as well. And there's lots of things I like about it, actually. It just, riding out on the road, uh, this bike has not got the same um, engine technology as the S1000RR, but it doesn't need it. It sounds really great when you start it up and the power is just everywhere. There's other little things they've done on it as well. Um, here, if we have a look, it's just a simple thing, but it's got this XR logo on the bars, which is, a simple thing but actually it's really really cool I really like that the other thing I found that the previous model did not have was it's got this little handy cubby hole you can put your credit card in there if you're on the motorway and you just don't want to stop if you're riding in Europe um, key earplugs even your mobile phone I like that all the GSA's have got them I like that a lot as you can see as well it's got the standard BMW mounting here for your navigator that works really well um this navigator i've got is a few years old now just slots straight in it's a navigator five pops that in you've got your map etc it's all going on here for you on the dash it's got your mode buttons you've got your heated grips here uh, with the modes you can go for rain you can go for dynamic you can go for road down here you can change the suspension and you can get into your menu and you can go through phone settings uh, navigation etc all on this dial so it's all happening here the one thing that I think it needs and it's a small thing I'm sure but I really like it on the GSA is it hasn't got that constant tire pressure uh, gauge scenario going on so I tend to ride the GSA and always have those tires up in front of me and then I could just flick through the information I was a little bit disappointed Mr. BMW to find that it's got a shifter on it as well with an auto blipper and the good thing about that if you just come around here and have a look it's down here here we go what i will say is again with bikes over the years i've ridden them uh, i'm a bit old school i tend to use the closed throttle and open throttle with an instant change the shift on this, the gear change on this bike is really, really good. Slick, you wouldn't feel it going up or down the box. So um, I was riding the bike last night on my way back to the hotel and I noticed as well that it's got not alone the LED lights here on the front, and the front has got a much more aggressive look to it, but it's also got a cornering light that comes on when you turn into a corner.
was really intrigued when this bike arrived at our um, our premises because it's a fantastic looking bit of kit. I really like the new look of the S1000 uh, XR BMW. So we had the opportunity to test the bike and do a bit of a review for you, our customers, um, back home in the UK. But as we were coming to Spain, I said, whoa, let's not bother with that. Let's put this on the truck and get it out into a place that really, if you buy one of these bikes, you're gonna think, that's where I wanna ride. These sort of views. It's the 27th of October, the sun is shining, I've got a beautiful clear blue sky, around 23, 24 degrees. This is where this motorcycle and I need to be. What's it like? Well, I've got it in dynamic mode at the moment, but I found something else in the settings that I really like being old school. So if I just press this button here on my left, I get this sport mode. Then I flick it again, I get this. Yeah, and I'm 59, so it suits me. It looks a little bit uh, like an older rev counter. And I'm not really a big fan of these lean meters at all. I don't really see the point of them. But I like the way that BMW have put it in there, in the center. So it's also easy to, to have a look at. It's not gonna grab my attention for sure, but I like, I like the way they've put it in there. Then they've got a brake sensor here on the right-hand side as well. So if I just give it a bit of a tap on the brake, whoa, there you go. You can see it feeding itself up the scale. The DTC is showing, and I've got the bike, as I said, in dynamic mode, which is my favorite mode. It's the first of the XRs that I've, I've ridden, and I, and I rode a few of the older ones, and I did find them at five foot 11. Um, a bit tight in the leg, which was quite surprising. I'm not particularly tall, but, but I thought, oh, it's a bit cramped. And I did find it a bit vibey. Not obtrusively so, but a bit vibey. I certainly do not find that on this bike. It's got lovely power, look at that. We're doing 39 miles an hour, and we're in fifth gear, and it's just pulling beautifully out of the corner. Lovely. Easy to ride, easy to turn in. Brakes really, really well. What else would you expect from a modern motorcycle anyway? So look at that for a view, everybody. That's why I'm here. And that's why we put this bike on the truck. It's a sports tourer. It's equally at home in my view, in either mode, sport or touring. I like the way you sit in it. Again, I've always wanted to sit in the bike, feel a part of the bike, not sit on top of it. I like to sit in it and feel more part of it feel more in touch with everything that's going on and this has certainly got that position for me it's absolutely spot on I'm not really having to put much input into going around the corners it just makes it happen you look through the corner you go around the corner it's that easy and here's a corner let's do it again oh yes get the visor down oh yes it just wants to get on with it oh Get down your dealers and get a test ride on one of these.
been a great massive fan of the 1200 GSA and the 1250 and I'm always honest about it I also like the Z1000SX I think that's a fantastic bike as well this has slotted straight in there and now my top two have become my top three this is a really lovely motorcycle to ride really really nice to ride loads of power uh, when I had it out on the road handled beautifully brakes well it's also got uh, the adaptive suspension on it so you can just change your modes there it all just works so BMW S1000 XR if you're interested in this sort of bike go along to the dealer and get yourself a demo ride because this is a bit of a shocker it's really really good great bike thanks very much BMW Motorrad UK for uh, lending me this bike and uh, when our dealer tours get uh, going again back in the UK uh, we'll be happy to get you on one and get you out and uh, do a demo ride. So thank you very much. Take care.